Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make dissolved toggles in Unity for VRChat avatars. I'm going to use what I think is the most consistent best method. So first, we need to set up our materials and for the, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be dissolving and resolving back this dress, this one. So I'm just going to see there's two materials. And what I'm going to do, you need to apply to all the materials that you want to dissolve on the mesh. So you go into the, your Pyomi shader, you can close this down. And in the special effects, you're going to look for dissolve, you know, you enable it. And you have a bunch of things here. So the way this works, it uses a dissolve noise texture, which looks very nice. And basically the noise texture tells Pyomi what kind of pattern it should, should dissolve the uh, mesh, the material. And we look for a simplex and si noise simplex is a texture that comes with Pyomi shader on its own. So you can use this and you change. Actually, let's see. Okay. So you can test your dissolve by dragging the dissolve alpha right and left. So let's see how that goes. You can see it's doing something, but it, instead of disappearing, it turns white. So how do we fix that? You go to dissolved color and you drag the alpha from the right to the left, make it transparent. So we're going to test it again and you can see how it disappears. So what we also need to do, we're going to be animating this. So we right click dissolve alpha and click renamed when locked. And that's basically what you need to set up. You can also play with the settings. So I'm going to show you, hold on. So we can change the color of these edges of the dissolve. Actually, let me do, uh, let me do this. There we go. So we can actually see the results. And you can change the edge right here and you can change the um, width of the edge. Make it bigger or like really tiny like this. I'm gonna put it to the original value and I'm gonna leave it to white. And one important thing, the rendering preset in Puyomi has to be cut out or transparent. So if it's, for example, opaque, you need to set it to cut out or transparent, otherwise it wouldn't dissolve. And don't forget to set the dissolve for your other materials on the mesh. So I'm gonna do it real quick actually very quick and there we go that's all I need to know so now we're going to be making animations and I'm going to be making four animations one off one on one transition basically from off to on and one from on to off transition animation so I'm gonna create a new animation and I made a folder this all for this tutorial so I'm gonna start here I'm going to call it dress on and we're going to be doing multiple things. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the whole mesh and actually first I need to lock my material in. So now I'm going to animate the dissolve alpha and for on I want it to zero because I want my dress to be there so there's like this and I'm gonna left click and then hold my left shift and left click again here I'm gonna control C to copy I'm gonna make dress off animation I'm gonna do the opposite values to turn this mesh off and now I'm gonna make dress on to off it's gonna be the transition and this one is a bit more tricky I guess so you start from being turned on and not being dissolved at all. And you go to frame number, for example, 150, and it depends basically how long you want your animation to be. The, more, the, the latter the frame, for example, 200, 300, 400, uh, you know, the more it's gonna take, so it's gonna be longer. But I'm gonna use 150 for the tutorial. And here you change this to one. And you need to change one thing. You need to click the curves and you basically do this. And you can see the animation is not like linear. It's gonna appear slower at the beginning and at the end, it's like smoothing. 
and we don't want this necessarily unless you do so we click and drag right click and change both tangents to linear and we're gonna see this nice linear curve and I'm gonna go to make another animation called press off to on I'm gonna paste again and here I'm gonna do it the other way meaning from dissolved to going to 150 again changing to resolved and you can see we all, all again have the curve so we're gonna change it to the linear line there we go and these are the four animations that you need so now I'm going to show you how you can set it up in the FX layer so first I'm gonna make a bunch of parameters and this avatar doesn't have a parameter file yet so I'm gonna make a new one but you can you know add your existing one if you have one so I'm gonna call this toggle tutorial parameters and I'm gonna add two parameters two booleans first one is gonna be dress toggle for the toggle itself and another one is gonna be hands loaded and I'm gonna explain why am I doing this later both of them have to be synced and for the dress toggle you want it to be safe for sure that's your preference really uh, I'm gonna make a little menu called toggle tutorial menu I'm gonna add the control to toggle call it just toggle and I need to put these into my avatars menu and parameter slots so I'm gonna drag this oh that's the menu and that's the parameters now I can select my avatar in this little list and change to dress toggle and now for the FX layer. So I'm gonna create an empty animator controller. I'm gonna call it uh, Dress Tutorial FX. You can literally just create empty FX layers like this. I'm gonna put it into my slots in here. And now I'm gonna add the parameters. So first of all, Dress Toggle. And another one is Has Loaded. And I'm gonna add another one that's called is local and this parameter is um, on every avatar by default uh, VRChat uses it VRChat puts it there for you so you don't have to clarify it or put it here in the parameters at all but you can use this parameter in uh, the FX layer or, by, or you know in all these layers actually so that's a piece of useful information so now we're going to go to our FX layer and create a new layer called has loaded I'm gonna make the weight one and we're gonna zoom in a little bit and create three states I'm gonna make another one there we go now we right click and connect them we make transition this way and this way and this one is going to be set up like this with no exit time and it's gonna be is local false and this one is going to be the same but it's going to be is local true and then we click this and we add behavior called VRC avatar parameter driver and we add one and we set has loaded to true and this layer you only need it once and it's gonna work for all the toggles you're gonna add you don't have to do this more than once on, the, in, on one FX layer and now we're going to actually create our dress toggle layer where, we, where we're going to be toggling uh, the dress. So this one, we create an empty state right here. Then we get our four animations and we drag it here. You can put the exit like somewhere. There we go. Um, I just put off here. I put on down here and then the transitions like in between like this and you connect the transitions in this way there we go so now we have to set up these so we don't do exit time and we change the condition to press toggle false meaning it's going to be basically when the avatar loads 
it goes here and then it decides well it sees if the avatar is off or on and it goes to off or on appropriately for the first time and after that we're gonna be cycling between them true right so the one on the bottom is gonna be dress bubble true and here we cancel the exit time again we set this to zero and we put here if dress toggle is true and here we say dress toggle is false and in these two we don't have to put anything necessarily because it only plays the animation of toggling basically going from off to on and showing to dissolve once and then it goes to the being on or off and this one is literally the same just the other way that direction so this is everything you need to need to have so now we can actually test the avatar with a gesture manager so add gesture manager to your scene and link in the description if you don't have it the gesture manager is um, basically emulates VR chat in unity so we can actually test these things without uploading which saves a lot of time and I actually have it twice here so I'm just gonna leave it once and you go into play mode it's gonna take a little bit go scene and go to gesture manager and you click and drag the avatar you're gonna be testing and there we go now let's see let me toggle the dress on and you can see it toggles I toggle it off but it's quite fast it's actually very fast so how do we do that how do we how do we fix this so you go into your um, transition animations and instead of 150 you can drag it to for example here which makes it 300 like twice as slow I'm gonna do it here as well yeah that's good enough it doesn't have to be like literally the same nobody's gonna know it is not just one frame right and you go into play mode again and uh, you test it again until you're satisfied with the results and you can basically keep adding toggles um, as many as you want really okay let's see Oh, that's that's a bit better yeah now it doesn't turn off why is that oh there we go it just takes a long time So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically see what value makes this actually turn off. Ah, I see. So it basically starts at 0 0.93, well, 0 0.9, let's say. So what we're actually gonna do is gonna adjust our transitions even further to make it look much nicer. So let's see let's see the curve so we want to go from one nine to one the longest time so what we actually gonna do is that we're gonna go here actually we're gonna go this way we're gonna make it zero for nine and you can see how this part goes really fast and this one really slow and as you can see it, it um, you can actually play it. I'm going to show you. Look. See how it dissolves pretty slow? Made it much slower. But this is like way too slow though. So let me adjust this one more time. And I'm going to drag this. Let's see. What about here? Yeah, it's still way too slow. So I'm going to do it, drag it right here. Test it again. Yeah, this is quite nice. I'm happy with this. So now the whole animation doesn't even need to take that long. So we drag this here.
There we go. And we're going to make the same thing, basically, um, in the other one. So here we need to actually, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to make it 0 0.9 here. And then we're going to drag this to here. Actually, I need to do it uh, the other way, like this. Now let's preview. Yeah, th that's much nicer. So there we go, animations are fixed. You can see the curve right here. And now we're gonna test it for the last time using the gesture manager. And by the way, my dress uses uh, Unity Cloth and sometimes it gets buggy when it goes through uh, Bo uh, bones and colliders, so that's what happened here. But we should fix it by running the manager. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's much nicer. And the dress is fixed too. So this is how you make dissolve toggles in Unity on your avatar. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of tutorials you want to see so I can make more videos for you guys. And um, I'll see you in the next video.